Welcome back everyone. Open Wings Pottery in Munising is a pottery studio and local artisan gallery. The shop is close to the lake shore and they make pottery of all shapes and sizes. Andrew Lacombe is there this morning joining us with more. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Vicki from Munising. Yeah, Open Wings has been here for about six years now. And it's, it's a very unique store that the owners, uh, Thomas and Jill Bonet, have made all this pottery here that, that you see in the center. It's all functional pottery things that you can use every day from mugs uh, to containers and trays. And it's all uh, very unique, all, all different. And now the store here also has uh, artwork from about 40 different local artists. So there's pretty much everything you can imagine uh, inside the store here and, and people that that are making things, they all live in about the north central UP. So some uh, very, very cool things to check out here this morning. We'll be coming back here all morning, uh, learning more about the process that Thomas and Jill go through to make their pottery. And, you know, I just had to show you uh, there's artwork here and just other local creations, including uh, Carl Bonac's book here. And it's even, it's even autographed. So you've got a lot, a lot to check out here uh, at Open Wings Pottery Gallery in Munising. And they're right on... Uh, on M28 on Munising Avenue when you pull into town about one block away across the street from Dairy Queen. So that's a good landmark. And Thomas and Jill will be joining us. You know, they actually live upstairs here. So we have when we have these guests in the morning, sometimes we make them drive pretty far, but uh, they have a pretty short commute this morning. So they're happy to uh, show us what they do, and we'll be coming back here later on. So stick around. But for now, we'll go back to the studio live in Munising. Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. And welcome and back. Now this morning, we're getting a look inside Open Wings Pottery in Munising. Their store filled with pottery of all kinds attracts locals and tourists alike. Andrew Lacombe is finding out why. Joining us live with more, Andrew. Good morning again, Vicki. That's right. There's art of all kinds here at Open Wings, especially pottery. And right now we're going to look at exactly how the pottery is made. Thomas Bonet, one of the owners here, is is at work this morning. And, and uh, Thomas, just tell me exactly what you are doing. Uh, at this point, I'm opening a piece of clay. Uh, it's about to be a mug, uh, like the one I just threw here. Um, we call this opening because we start out with just a lump and we need to open it up to kind of start the form out. Now I'm just pulling up the edges. And you've been uh, been doing uh, pottery work since, uh, what, 89? 1989, stumbled across it in college while I was uh, pursuing a psychology degree. And um, <clears throat> took my first art class in 1989. I was a senior in college. The art department, or the psych department, was all buzzed up about art therapy. So I thought, oh, art therapy, what a cool thing to do if I'm going to be in psychology, you know, working with kids. And, uh, boy, I got hooked. I, I, that's all I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, I've been looking around the store early this morning. You make all different kinds of, of pottery, all functional stuff. What, uh, what all do you make? Oh, we make just about anything you can think of that, that's, that's in the house. We do uh, mugs, and Jill makes a lot of platters. Uh, we make things that you can bake fish in, uh, lasagna pans, oh, oil bottles. Oh, do we, we have things called dip mates and oh, just a number of, a number of things. All right, Thomas, we just uh, did my job. We introduced Jill, who's over here. We're going to check out the rest uh, of the uh, studio space here, this uh, this workshop that's right attached to your store. Now, now, Jill, just tell me uh, about what happens after uh, the, the work here is thrown, right? That's the word? Yes, okay. exactly, after okay. it's thrown. Uh, it begins to dry, and at different points during the drying process, it's trimmed. Um, also, we do, you know, we do some carving, adding handles, um, any other kind of embellishment. So that happens during the drying process. And then um, this piece right here actually is called bone dry, and it's ready to be bisque fired, which is the first firing. Um, uh, at this point, after the bisque firing, the clay is still porous, so it'll accept the glaze. So that's the next, those are the next steps. Okay. And then this mug right here is bisque fired. Um, we wax uh, the bottoms so it doesn't accept the glaze. So this is ready to be glazed. And then uh, after it's glazed, we do the last firing, which is um, the glaze firing. And then it's ready to go on the shelf. 
All right. Can be used. And now you uh, have an example. We're going to check that out and uh, see, you know, what what it looks like with the glaze on it, and the, and the final part of the of the yeah. process that mm -hmm. that you do back here. And you've you've been here. Your store has been here for about six years now, right? Yep. It was six years in May. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. It's a my first time here in a, a very uh, unique place with a lot of different art. You have about forty other artists that also have uh, right. have works sold here, right? Yes. Um, Almost everyone is from the North Central Upper Peninsula, so we enjoy supporting other artists as well. All right, Jill, thanks so much. And we're going to come back here and check out more of the behind-the-scenes uh, work here at Open Wings. But we'll head back to the studio now, live in Munising, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. And, and I'll tell you back what? on this Monday morning, Open Wings Pottery in Munising is a pottery studio and local artisan gallery. The shop is close to the lake shore, and they make pottery of all shapes and sizes. Andrew Lacombe is there this morning and joining us with more. Andrew? Good morning again, Vicki. Earlier we are checking out part of the process that happens here at the gallery and, and the, in the studio, and now we're going to check out more. Uh, joining me again, uh, Jill Bonet. And Jill, uh, you have had this store now for about six years. Just tell me about the people who come in here. Oh, we get people from literally all over the world, um, you know, mostly the United States, of course, but um, from Canada and just, you know, different areas of the world who do come to Munising. Um, we also have a very, very good local support, you know, with our, our local clientele. Okay, now, one of the, your mo more popular uh, pieces of, of pottery is right here. You're going to show us how you finish glazing this, right? Yes. This is called a stembol. This is... Uh, the square version of the stem bowl. We also have round ones. And I've already um, glazed half of it. And it's a green glaze, and I'm going to finish it up with the brown, which I have right here. I'm going to give it a quick stir. And then just dip it. Bring it out. And I've got to wipe off the bottom. See, I have the bottom waxed. So it doesn't accept the glaze, but there's still a couple little drips on there. So we got to make sure that's all taken care of. And then very gently set it on this uh, paper-covered tray to dry. And in just a little while, it'll be ready to go into the, the glaze firing okay. into the kiln. Yeah, we're going to actually head over here uh, where Thomas is, the other half of this operation, and, and Thomas has been working with uh, with pottery, he said, since 1989. He told us earlier, I'm going to sneak past uh, over here and into the kiln area, and just tell me uh, what's happening right now. These, kiln, these kilns are on. I can smell them and feel the heat. Yeah, usually we don't turn them on this early, but you know, you guys show up pretty early in the morning. So we start them about 5 o'clock, and the, the firing process takes oh, about 9 hours in the glaze firing. Um, so every every hour we we set them up uh, oh another increment from one to seven on the um, on the dials and it goes from ambient temperatures now to about twenty three hundred degrees for our final firing. Okay, so uh, definitely uh, and and what's the total time it takes for uh, for a piece to uh, go from from when you're throwing it to uh, hit the shelves? Oh, start start to finish. It's about uh, depending on how dry the air is. Uh, about a, about a week, you know, five days to, to a week from start to finish. Okay. Now we're going to actually check out a finished product here. Like Jill was, was telling us about the stem garden we've got, we've gotten right here. And if Jill want to come back over here and, and I know we're in a, we're in close quarters here. Just, uh, hold that up and, and just kind of tell us about, about, uh, what people like about this, why it's popular. Well, uh, you can pick, uh, gather anything that's got a bloom on it at all and put it in the tubes. There are little cutouts at the bottom of the tubes so the water will flow into it. And of course, uh, your Lake Superior stones fit really nicely in the bottom. I don't know if you can see them with the flowers in there, but um, that that's the other part of, you know, the, the charm of this little item. Okay, thanks so much for uh, showing us behind the scenes of, of Open Wings uh, Pottery and Gallery now. Uh, if you want to learn more about Open Wings, you can go. We have a nice Facebook page, so just search Open Wings on there and uh, come check it out. Busy time of the year to be anywhere in the Munising area. So uh, come come down here and, and see this all this homemade work. So we'll head back to the studio now, live in Munising, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. All right. Thanks, Andrew. Sounds like a fascinating place. We're going to have to check that out someday. Coming up, the latest on Lindsay Lowen and her first sit-down interview coming up next.